Hello everyone, in this video we will demonstrate how to deploy or publish ASP.NET Core 6.0 MVC application to IIS. So previously we have deployed ASP.NET Core 3.1 or 5.0 into IIS. We don't have any issue but before uh, publishing into .NET 6.0 we have got some common issues uh, like uh, let me show you the two issues uh, what we have faced during this publication uh, into IIS. So first one is uh, pretty simple uh, like HTTP error 500 ANCM failed to native dependency in IIS. So uh, this is uh, this error due to uh, runtime ASP.NET Core 6.0 runtime you have to install runtime uh from microsoft site here's the link so let me show you how to install and run if we go to this uh, link dotnet 6.0 so here is the sp.net core runtime 6 so you have to select hosting bundle not uh x64 or x86 so you have to select hosting bundle i already installed so I'm not going to install again. So you have to go to the download.net 6.0 and you have to select hosting bundle. So once you select, so first one error uh, we have fixed uh, installing uh, runtime hosting bundle and second one error is uh, another uh, error. We, we got uh, basically extra time by investing how to fix this issue so http 400 based bad request response request header too long so we basically we did some googling and go to the stack overflow and stack overflow suggested uh, <coughs> go to your browser so i'm using uh, microsoft edge and go to settings uh, if we go to the settings uh, you have to go to your cookies and site permission uh, manage and delete cookies and site data mm, see all uh, cookies and site data so remove all i already remove all so maybe you will get a lot of uh, listed data here so you have to remove all so just clear i'm just clearing again so i just share uh, two major errors uh, with you what we have faced during the ASP.NET 6.0 publish uh, into IIS. So here is our uh, product, basically business ERP. So we will deploy this business ERP into IIS. So let me just uh, build this application. So build command is .NET build. So once build success, then uh, I will deploy or publish this application so publish a uh, command also pretty simple just uh, .NET published uh, release we can just copy and paste so published is uh, going on mm. yes published success so here is the published location if I click the location and go to the uh, reveal in file explorer and we can see publish this publish done i have to copy this location for ias configuration uh, let me keep this publish location let me just open my ias so if we go to the ias I already deploy testing business ERP. Uh, I will just uh, remove this as I already deploy this. So I will create new site, add new website, <coughs> site name business ERP and physical path. So you can browse the physical path. Also, you can just copy and paste here as so let me just copy paste so IP address all assigned uh, as we are deploying in the local IA so we can set 82 for port number if we press ok 
uh, there is uh, another application anyways so we'll replace by our this application business erp so business erp uh, is configuration done if we just restart and go to the browser accept mm, local host 82 So uh, we can say our deployment is success. This is the login page, but uh, uh, previously uh, before we uh, testing the deployment, uh, login page was loading successfully, but once we click the sign in, then we got uh, these two errors. First one is uh, like uh, HTTP error and CM and second one bad request. We fix those error by clearing browser cookies and installing the sp.net core runtime so hopefully we will not get any this error again so let me sign in so uh, sign in success we can see the dashboard for a business erp if we just browse this application so here's the recent invoice this is the auto generated uh, default seeder data if we just uh, perform some db operation just for checking is is deployment uh, uh, perfectly okay or not so go to the manage cells if we just click uh, create new invoices so we can select the item let's say quantity is five if i add this item also success also success if we save invoice creation success if we go to the invoice we can see invoice is ready for printing we can invoice print this invoice so uh, we have successfully deployed a asp.net core 610 application to iis uh, using vs code you can use visual studio as well visual studio is uh, pretty easy you just uh, right click in the solution explorer and published and then uh, you, you you have to select the location and uh, other few settings so all there is a pretty easy in the vs code visual studio in the vs code you you just run the run the uh, command dot net published before com run this published you have to confirm make sure the application will successfully so we run this application using uh, IIS so if we go to the IIS uh, so here is the IIS application running successfully and if we back to our application here is the POS system you can we can select some item and dynamically so here is the, our cart so already two item if we just select the checkout so also POS system is successful uh, by deploying into IIS this application invoice creation success. So summary is we have to uh, make sure the ASP.NET Core runtime uh, browser some issues and publish the application properly and later we have to go to the IIS and like in the site right click add new website you have to copy paste path here also you can manually select the application published folder location you have to say create the right name of also uh, default application pool you can select um, a different pool as well uh, as we previously created a lot of uh, application that's a lot of pool uh, showing here so uh, hopefully you also can deploy your asp.net for six application without any error if, if you face these two errors so uh, already we explain how to fix these two errors so uh, we just uh, almost uh, finished our video for this uh, tutorial so basically this tutorial or uh, this video was about how to deploy asp.net core 6 application into iis uh, if we go to our project so this is the business erp project and uh, i let me show you just summarize again uh, right click in the business erp open in integrated terminal cls dot net build
So build is success. If we talk about .NET 6.0 application, uh, its uh, application is structure. Uh, this is MVC application. Application is structure is pretty simple. No, there is a startup. So only just program.cs. Uh, we have to take care all the DB, all the uh, settings and the dependencies and other stuff here. We uh, uh, we configure uh, multi language here db connection here this application supported multiple uh, db connection like mysql sql server also uh, these application supported postgresql so in the another uh, in the another repository so this is not updated one so identity we have configured identity here and also swagger documentation Anyways, uh, this is the program structure and if we back to our uh, deployment uh, build success, we have to just run the .NET published uh, build command. So it will take a few seconds to complete the build. So already build success and here is the uh, build location. You have to just copy and go to IIS. I already explained how to configure the new website into IIS. So thank you everyone uh, watching this video and hopefully uh, you will share your uh, honest feedback please do subscribe and like us thank you again hope you hopefully see you in the next video